So we finally got a time to do the draft for this year's league. Um, apparently we were waiting on Brennan to determine his uh, flight schedule so that we could fit this thing in. Um, apparently he's in Mississippi with his girlfriend who's in Starks, Starkville uh, that's famous for annoying ass cowbells. Um, surprised that anybody would go to college in Mississippi. I heard that the entrance exam is pretty easy though. You just have to be able to spell college, which is why most kids, most high school seniors, uh, are forced to go out of state next door to Alabama because they spell it C-O-L-L-I-G-E. Um, I know it sounds that way, but that's not how you spell it. And, um, so they allow other kids who could spell it correctly to go to school there, which is awesome for them. Um, too bad all their teams suck. But uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, this year's draft, we have uh, the usual suspects. Um, Drew, who chose to go to school in Arkansas, which was a smart choice, even though I don't know if he knows how to spell it. It Probably it's A R with a smiley face emoji, laughing emoji, which apparently in the state of Arkansas is correct, the correct spelling nowadays. Um, or you just put the little Razorback uh, emoji on there, which they have now, which is, it's kind of cute, I guess, um, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, so we got, let's see, uh, who's the defending champion? Oh, that'd be me. Oh, that's... That's correct. That would be me. So it doesn't really matter who you line up. Uh, nobody's going to take me down off the top. Uh, wanted to retire on top, uh, but I got drugged back in. And, uh, you know, because the, the ass whoopings uh, just, you know, the nephews wanted it to continue. So here we go again. Um, we got Drew, which I mentioned before, who... He and I battle it out every year in the championship game, so everybody else plays for third and fourth and all the way down. Consolation bracket, that's a real good prize. Um, then we got the the twin monsters, Bryce, the owner, who spelled football twice correctly and um, has kind of set the rules up to where he allows people in to – trade, uh, you know, they'll trade a wide receiver one for two kickers because they have no interest in even being in the league. And you know who I'm talking about, and I'll get to you later. Um, and then Brennan, who makes an effort, but just, I don't think he really knows what he's doing, but uh, he's too caught up with his baseball and his girlfriend in Starkville. Um, you know, a real good Christmas gift for her would be a nice cowbell because you we need more cowbell um then there's uh ryan who last year had no clue what he was doing um none whatsoever and then made the mistake of letting his boys uh set his lineup which they would i'm sure they probably made all kinds of illegal trades that went under the radar that nobody caught so this year he has told me that he has uh, a little bit more knowledge and knows what he's doing. So we'll just see. Good luck on sixth place. Uh, Blake, Blake, you really, you saved my ass. You got me into playoffs and I won that crown. And I know I owe you a 30 pack that you'll never see, but uh, I thank you for that. Um, you you got to, I know you love the Cowboys, but you got to quit drafting those guys. I mean, they're, they're awful. Um, they'll, you know, the, what there's 17 games. So seven and 10, maybe, uh, we'll see. Um, Jack, I love you, kid. Keep on plugging and, uh, we'll see how you do. Uh, you gave me a battle in the in the basketball league, but football is a whole different story. So we'll see where we go from there. And Mike, good luck listening to Jack. 
hopefully he can help you out and give you some pointers. My tip to you would be in the first round, you need to draft Deshaun Watson and then go kicker defense and then fill your roster from there. That's the way I do it. And I win every year. So take a guy that's not going to play till week 11 and then go kicker defense. Cause that's where all your points are at. Um, Big Roger, my man. Uh, I don't want to say anything bad about you because I'm afraid you might DDT me in the middle of the ring, especially since you apparently have toured the Midwest at all the minor wrestling circuits and have learned the profession. Um, we'll see how this goes, man. I hope you stick with it this year. Uh, last year, I really looked forward to playing you because that was an automatic win. So, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. And I don't even know who else is in the league. I don't know if there's 8, 10, 12, whatever. It doesn't matter. Line them up. I'm going to take you all down and hoist the trophy again. All right? Good luck, everybody. Let's have fun.